Uh, hello, JB girls. Here we are again. And it's already Wednesday, uh, first day of virtual school. I hope it went well, well for you today. And we are back here for some virtual basketball practice. And we're starting to get into some of the things we're actually going to do when we start playing. And uh, today we're going to introduce the three main offensive rules, which we'll call the triad. And uh, to make it in JV basketball to be successful on the offensive end, you must do these three different types of rules each and every time you catch the ball. If not, I can guarantee you most of the time it's going to result in a turnover, and turnovers are bad, so we want to stay away from those. So tonight we will learn the triad. And so, as previously introduced, we are going to discover what is the triad for offensive basketball. What are these three most important things we need to do each and every time we are in possession of the ball? So the first one is to catch and control the basketball. And we have a simple saying of grip, rip, and hip. You can see this player here, she's got excellent control of the basketball. She, her hands are on it firm. It's no way it can be stolen. She's actually looking at her opponent, which just is fine. She's reading her opponent to see what opportunity she has to be an offensive player. Why is it important to be in this triple threat position? It forces you to stop and think, look at your teammates for opportunities, and it calms yourself and helps you find the rim. Speaking of finding the rim, that's something you should look at every time you get the basketball. And actually, really before you, as soon as you catch it, your eyes should be up. And that triple threat position should be accomplished as you are looking up at the rim. Um, by looking up at the rim, you can discover what the next decision will be. That truly is the next thing to do is make a decision. As you can see, these players, uh, the uh, girl on the left is obviously going to drive. The girl on the right, she's either going to pass or shoot. Um, so those are obviously two of the possible decisions you can make when you catch the ball. As we move forward tomorrow, you will learn the fun rules. Rules are good. Rules control the fun, as Monica would say. So we hope everybody, and I hope everybody, has a great night tonight. And uh, go Saints, and we'll see you tomorrow with our next virtual practice. Make sure you do some of those at-home drills to stay on top of your games. We're ready when we come back to Saints basketball practice face-to-face. -face.